going to go through the kit list that you need if you're joining us on one of our expeditions on board Narwhal. So I'll take you through all the bits of equipment that you need to bring with you and I'll also explain some of the things that we have on board for you. So we'll start by having a look at the items of clothing that you're going to want when we're actually sailing. So starting on our bottom half, I'd recommend a pair of sort of um, thermal kind of under trousers and maybe also a shell pair of trousers to go over the top of those. Then for the top half, I'd recommend kind of a, a layering sort of system. So starting off with a merino kind of base layer, then a mid layer of a, a fleece or another kind of soft shell, warm kind of jumper. Then maybe a down or a synthetic down kind of gilet. And then also a down or a synthetic down jacket. And obviously the colder conditions that we're anticipating, the thicker that jacket wants to be. So if you're coming on one of our colder expeditions, I'd really recommend the thickest sort of down or synthetic jacket that you can find. Then along with that, we're going to want a pair of woolly socks and probably like a fleecy neck gaiter is really useful. Then we're going to want something on our heads, so either a woolly hat or one of these kind of waterproof type hats are really good. Then we're going to want some gloves. Uh, there's quite a few options for gloves, so maybe either some mittens or some more sort of slightly hard wearing gloves with a bit of grip on them, or even some of these uh, waterproof style um, gloves that are designed for fishing. There's another video that you can check out in our playlist which is about what I wear when I'm sailing on Narwhal and I go into a little bit more depth as to which of these layers I would use in sort of which weather conditions, which types of hats I recommend, which kind of gloves to recommend. So have a look on the playlist and check that one out. So we've got most of our clothing now for, for sailing. Next thing we need these are probably the most important item to bring with you after your passport and your medication is a pair of wellies. They don't have to be fancy wellies, they don't have to be expensive wellies, but they do need to be waterproof and they do need to be this kind of height. And the main reason we need this kind of height is when we're exploring ashore and we're getting ashore in the dinghy, we need to be able to step out of the dinghy, possibly into water that might sort of come up this deep. So if we're just wearing hiking boots or ankle boots, there's a chance that they'll get flooded. So a pair of wellies is a, a must-have. Those are the sort of layers that you want to bring with you and then we'll provide you with an all-in-one warm, waterproof, windproof sailing suit. So you don't need to worry too much about additional waterproof layers for sailing. And then we'll also provide you with an offshore standard life jacket that we wear all the time when we're on deck. So that's pretty much the equipment that you're going to need for sailing. Another big part of our adventures and our expeditions is exploring when we go ashore. So you might want a couple of additional things for this. So maybe a waterproof um, shell jacket and waterproof shell trousers, the sort of things you might wear for hiking that are a little bit more comfortable to wear ashore than the sailing suit. Also you might want a pair of hiking boots. So we talked about how we need to wear our wellies to get ashore, but then once we're ashore, you might want to change into a pair of walking boots to be a bit more comfortable for exploring. And then it's good to have a rucksack to take the little bits and pieces that you want when you're exploring with you. I have this one which is a rucksack but also a dry bag, so it keeps everything nice and safe and dry when we're transferring in and out of the rib. So if you've got one of those, they're brilliant. If not, just a rucksack and then maybe if you've got some important electronics try and get a small dry bag to put them in inside just in case. So that's most of our exploring covered. Um, the next set of equipment that we want is just some casual things to wear when we're on the boat. So just a set of casual clothing, just comfortable type clothing, underwear, Swimwear I'd recommend as well. It might be a little bit cold to be going swimming in the ocean, but if we find a, a pool or a hot tub or something, then it's really nice to be able to make the most of that. And then one of my real must-haves is a pair of boat slippers. So once you're down below, you don't want to have your wellies on, but you've just got something keeping your feet nice and warm and cosy. So that's most of our sort of clothing type equipment covered. I'll go through a few of the other sort of sundry bits and pieces that, you, that we want to bring with us. So we want a small bag of our personal toiletries, 
Also some sun cream. Although, even though we're going places that might be quite cold, it's still a good idea to bring sun cream and possibly midge repellent as well. If you've got any other medications that you take regularly, then definitely make sure that you have enough of these available to take with you. Lip balm is also a really good idea when you're outside in the cold and the wind. Maybe some hand warmers if you know that your hands get particularly cold and you want um, another option to pop in your pocket. Another thing along with the medications, if you wear contact lenses or glasses, make sure you've got at least one spare pair of those with you. And also sunglasses are, are really useful as well. The other thing I've got on here is a blindfold and some earplugs, which particularly if we're sailing under the midnight sun, a blindfold can actually be really useful for getting to sleep at night or getting to sleep if we're on a watch system during the day and night. I've also got a head torch here, so if it's not midnight sun or just if your cabin mate is sleeping and you've got the curtains closed and made your cabin quite dark and you want to get up and do something, then a head torch is a good idea. And ideal is to have the one that's got the little red light option on it as well. All of our bunks have got um, 12 volt outlets in them, so you can charge your phones, and your electronics that you want to bring with you, just remember to bring yourself a USB charger. And then obviously if you want to bring headphones, music, books to read, entertainment, and then camera. It's up to you what type of camera you want to bring, whether you're going to use your phone or whether you've got a small compact camera or a GoPro, whether you've got an SLR camera like this. The places we're going to go are just so photogenic and so stunning. I would definitely recommend a camera of some sort. And like I said, we can charge from the 12 volt chargers in everybody's bunks. There is 240 volt charging available on board if you've got a bigger camera and it needs that kind of charging, but it is a little bit more awkward to set that up. So I would recommend those types of cameras, bring spare batteries with them. And whatever kind of camera you bring with you, I definitely recommend bringing plenty of memory cards. You don't want to miss out on that amazing photo of a polar bear because you've run out and, and filled up your memory card. So. So that's covered most of the things that we need for the expedition. The other things to remember, obviously, are the things you'd always bring with you when you were travelling. So bringing your passport, bringing any of your travel documentation, bringing copies of your travel insurance. So then the very last thing to say is what to put all of this equipment into. And we've got quite a lot of space on our wall to stow your gear, but we don't have space to stow big square solid suitcases. So I'd recommend bringing it all in a big barrel or duffel type bag, one of those kind of bags that you can squash down. And if you find that you've got a bit of space in your bag, then I'd really recommend doubling up, tripling up, quadrupling up on things like the hats, the buffs, the gloves, things that might get wet that it's really nice to have some spare pairs to change into. And also bringing plenty of the mid layers and the base layers. There we are, so I hope that's been helpful and given you a good idea of the things that you should bring with you when you're joining us on an expedition. Like I said, feel free to check out that video about the layers that I wear when I'm sailing. I'll put a link to that um, underneath this. If you've got any other questions or comments, then feel free to leave those in the comments or to contact us via the website. And we look forward to welcoming you on board Narwhal.